Today's challenge, a Shih Tzu with a health and safety warning. Approach, touch or cuddle at your own risk. He attacks me whenever I get near him. He actually bit a mirror on her nose. We've got to look at getting rid of the dog. In the aptly named county of Berkshire, 12-year-old Amira once dreamed of having a dog. Ever since I was little, I've always loved, like, playing with dogs. They're really cute and they're fun to be around. She just had to convince her dad, Wale, that it was a good idea. I didn't actually want a dog, but I uh, have two girls in the house and a wife that campaigned and um, I gave in after a while. It, it was long. after a while, it was about two, three years. Persuaded by wife Michelle and their youngest daughter, Atia, Wale finally agreed. Amira did the search online. She found out what type of dog would be best for our family based on our circumstances, and that's when we actually got Kofi. End result, a Shih Tzu pup called Kofi. But despite being very sweet looking, he's a total nightmare. One minute he's happy and playful and puppy-like, and the next minute it's just, don't touch me. <laughs> don't look at me, I'm gonna bite your head off. <laughs> I was hoping for a perfect family dog but what I got was an angry pit bull. But anger management is the tip of the iceberg. Come on then, let's go, let's go. It's also impossible to stop Kofi chasing every bird and every dog he sees. The bigger the dog, the more he growls, the more aggressive he seems to get. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, his dietary habits are even more disturbing. Kofi's most disgusting uh, issue is eating his poo. If one of the kids try to pick it up, he will growl, he will snarl at them. The last time I tried to get him away from it and he literally snapped and <laughs> bit me. <laughs> but worst of all, this Shih Tzu has turned on the person who wanted him most. <laughs> it got bad enough that he actually uh, jumped up and bit Amira on her nose. Seeing her in tears and the blood streaming from her nose, it was very uh, scary. He does scare me quite a lot because I don't know if he's going to jump at me. Wally thinks the problem is a lack of discipline. Get down. I treat him like a dog, and Michelle treats him like a child. With some sausage. Ooh, he's that good. But his solution... We've got to look at getting rid of the dog. It's not an option for him to go. It's not his fault, is it? I take him on a walk too, so... I might go missing. I wouldn't do that, really. <laughs> Shih Tzus are a very old breed, and they were originally bred to be lap dogs for Chinese royalty. And because of this companion dog status, they're generally very friendly, so I'm interested to see what's going on with Kofi. Tell me what's going on. Kofi absolutely hates me. What sort of things does he do? He attacks me whenever I get near him. One time, he bit me on my nose. Wow. Did he draw blood? Yeah. So, now how do you feel about him? I'm very wary about, around him. I've gotten better at, like, running before he can get me. That's no way to live. What else is going on? He's quite reactive. As soon as he sees another dog or a bird or a person, he just 
goes for them. Anything else? E it is poo. Oh, you're <laughs> one of those. With a maximum height of around 25 centimetres and long flowing hair as opposed to fur, it's no surprise the name Shih Tzu translates as Little Lion. But there, the similarities end, as they're a happy-go-lucky breed, seldomly aggressive. But if bad habits develop, these petite pooches respond best to praise and rewards, not discipline. Though in Kofi's case, change may not be a walk in the park. Oh dear. Thank you. That was actually a, a nice reaction from him. Oof. Oh. Kofi! <laughs> That's fun. Bird chasing. So try getting him back now without pulling on the lead. To try and get his attention. Kofi! Kofi! Oh, he heard you and he looked back and he went, no, I've got things to take care of, <laughs> Mum. Kofi! Oh, come on, come on! While this little lion will take on anything that moves, there's one other behaviour Victoria needs to get to the bottom of. Oh, yeah. His poo eating. Gross. Don't let this dog lick you. <laughs> he will always guard it. So you can see there, that's a mirror. Yeah, and of course, he's successful. Hmm. And she squeals and runs away mm. because he's starting to mm. have a go at her. Yeah. Mister, you might be small, <laughs> but you've got a whole load of attitude. Don't you look at me like that. Looking for a few clues as to Kofi's aggressive behaviour, Victoria wants to observe how he interacts with the family. Are you following Mummy? He's walked into the room, but he's going to sit by Mum and not Amira. Come on, then. Come on. Hey, Papa. Interesting that even when Mum goes down to touch him, he goes like this with his head. I don't think this dog likes to be touched that much. Hello. She stopped touching him and he shook off. And the shake off is kind of a stress release, a reset. After lunch, Kofi follows Amira to her bedroom, but refuses to go in. It just shows that he doesn't trust her. He's maybe built a little aversion towards Amira because she touched him a lot, especially when he was a puppy as kids do. And then one day the puppy goes, enough, done. I think that's what's happened to you. The challenge now is rebuilding the trust, so Kofi no longer feels his life is dog versus world. He is a small dog, but he has big problems. When you first got him as a puppy, who interacted with Kofi more? Amira. She's the one that wanted Kofi. She's the one that rallied to get the dog. That doesn't surprise me. I have noticed that he has touch aversion, created by too much handling when he was a puppy. And he's associated that with Amira. One snarl, one snap. Dog sees that it works, stopped Amira from touching. This is what I'm going to do. Really, there's three main headlines here. First and most importantly, Amira. The relationship that they have is broken. And I do think that it is fixable. The second is obviously the poo eating. It's, it's disgusting. I had no idea a dog can eat so much poo. And thirdly, you have a dog that has really high chase drive. OK. Great. Great. So we have a lot to do. OK. Are you ready? I'm ready. OK. Let's do it. The first step of Kofi's journey is tackling the poo eating. The key is instant disposal. But to do it peacefully requires the back away cue. You say back away from the poo he's eating or anything that you don't want him to have. He'll go, oh, all right, I'll back away. It's going to be safer for you. It's going to be safer for you girls. I look forward to see um, how uh, things are going to work out to the lack of poo eating in the future. I'm going to start with a piece of food in my hand, and I'm going to wait. As he takes his nose away from this, I'm going to say, back away. Yes. 
back away. Now I reward him from something in the other hand. Yes, good boy. I'm now going to show him the food. Back away. What I'm gonna do is remove it if he doesn't do it. Back away. Yes. He's gotta take a step back from me. I don't care whether he takes a step to the side or he takes a step back. <laughs> I just want him to take a step. Back away. Yes. Good boy. It's just like magic happening right in front of you. Absolutely amazing. But is it a trick Wale and Michelle can pull off? Now it's your turn. Tell him to back away. Back away? Put, put your hand down, then tell him. Back away? Yeah, he did it. He did it. Give it to yes. him. Did you see what he did? He, he took a jump back. Yeah. OK. Boom. Back away? Yes. Good. Brilliant. Victoria's given us the skills that we need. We couldn't be happier. What do you think about your dog now? I think we're both really yeah, proud of him. Yeah, we are definitely really, really proud of him. Good, yeah. While Kofi's chocolate truffles can now be safely cleared away, sadly, this little shindig... Nice cupcakes, some wine, some fruit... ..isn't a celebration. It's to help Wale and Michelle understand those difficult walks in the park. Here I've set up a party area. And here, two chairs looking at a wall. Pick where you want to go. Do it now. Party? Why did you choose this? It's more fun. This for Kofi is the bird. This for Kofi is the dog. While two chairs and a view of a brick wall represents mum and dad. It's really hard to be as exciting as the thing that the dog wants to chase. What happens when people call their dogs back to them? Normally, it's to put on a lead and take them home. You're really going against instinct. No different to kids. Kids always want to be where the fun is, so I, I suppose, yeah, it does. It makes complete sense, yeah. So what I'm going to do is to make you a bit more like a party. Next stop, the scene of the crime, where Kofi chases anything that moves. Oof. Oh, Kofi! <laughs> but two soft toys could make Wale and Michelle the life of the party. As you walk away from him, you're going to say, follow me, OK? OK. And when he gets to you, boom, he gets the toy. Now, we know with him, once he gets something, he doesn't like giving it up. That's where I come in. I have a toy. Follow me. By tapping into Kofi's natural instinct to chase... Follow me. Yes, good boy. Wale and Michelle can divert his attention back to them. A game of tug. Oh, that's so good. Wale, are you ready? Yep. Follow me. Good. Let him get it. Follow me. Make it a bit more exciting. Run around with it. Perfect. Yes. Good boy. I got mine here. Follow me. Yes. Right. It's your turn. You're going to be the party people. Yeah, let's go. Follow me. Good nice. boy. Follow me. Lovely. Well done. I love that. With Kofi responding to every cue. Follow me. Whoa! Look at that. A walk in the park could soon be something this family actually looks forward to. Yes, we got it. Woo! Good boy. Well done. You're not party people. <laughs> Brilliant <laughs> people. <laughs> With Kofi already much calmer, now comes Victoria's biggest challenge. <laughs> Repairing his relationship with Amira. I know he's bitten you. Sometimes he chases you. Sometimes he lunges at you. And that is a little disconcerting. It's scary most of the time. I also think Kofi is a little touch sensitive. Because you handled him quite a lot when he was a puppy. Trust has been broken. So here's how you're going to get it back. You're going to be the trainer. 
Armed with two essential tools, a clicker and food, Amir is about to become this pooch's best friend. We're going to build up the association that when he hears this, food is coming. And the only person who's going to operate the clicker is you. And therefore, you're going to build up that bond. Kofi, I want you to get a, some food and just put it on the floor. And just before he gets it, click. Kofi. OK, throw. Very good, beautiful timing. While nothing beats a verbal instruction, using a clicker establishes clear communication with your dog and makes training more efficient. Its unique sound marks the moment a behaviour is complete and tells a dog that a reward is coming. Speaking of which... Kofi, sit. Good. I'm going to ask him to do something for me. When he does it, that's when I click and then I give him a treat. Sit. Yes. Perfect. Take it away. Kofi. Sit. Wait. Sit. That was so good. Try it again. Sit. With Kofi sensitive to being touched, Victoria has another simple tip for Amira. Pet a little and then stop. If the dog goes, mm, give me more, pet a little more. But if the dog doesn't interact, what's the dog saying? That they don't want to be petted anymore. When we don't see that, that's why dogs become touch aversive. Target one person. And unfortunately, that was you. No more. Me and Kofi get to be better friends. It'd make me feel happier. We'd be able to hang out without me having to be wary of him. You did brilliantly. I don't think it's going to be long before that bond starts to grow between you again. With Hound and home feeling much happier, looks like this family is ready to go it alone. I do have to say, seeing the way Kofi's worked, he's a very smart dog. You made a good choice, Amira. Good luck, keep up with the training, be consistent, and I will check in and see how you're getting on. Bye-bye. Bye. Over the next few weeks, the entire family give Victoria's techniques 100%. Back away. Yes. <laughs> Especially Amira. Which is just as well, because guess who's back? Hi, Hello! So nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Hi. Thank Hi. you. Tell me how everything's been going. So, first of all, Kofi and Amira, they're friends. <gasps> the other night, he actually slept in her room by choice. No. Yep. That's amazing. What about the, the, the poo eating and gauging of it? So there's been no poo eating. So, yeah, it's been nice. Actually, it's been quite good. He's been just, Yeah, yes. and it's to the point now where we don't even have to call him off of it. Wow. Even more exciting, when they head to the park, Kofi's much less reactive. Even the little shih tzus that we see normally that he would have a go at, he wasn't bothered by them at all. How amazing. He is still bird crazy. We're still working on that bit. Yeah. 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 And that's hard because you're really working against instinct there. Yeah. yeah. Well, I have to say, well done. I am really happy about Amira. He's with her right now, and we can't hear any screaming. So. <laughs> Good boy. So finally, Amira's dream of having a dog she can yeah. love is fast coming true. Kofi, in the window there, is finally becoming the family dog everyone had hoped for, especially Amira. They've done a great job. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.